Welcome, dear Cut and Soul Tribe. I welcome you all to Cut and Soul Tribe YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to show you how to draft our plugin neckline, like this one in the picture. So I already have my basic bodies pattern here. If you don't know how to go about it, check somewhere around the uh, channel. On this channel, I've illustrated the detail, everything you need to know about basic bodies on this channel so this is a pattern i'll be working with we are going to alter this pattern firstly to uh bustier before we now achieve the plugging neckline so i want you to follow me as we as we go through this tutorial step by step so the first thing i'm going to do is to tighten my under bust Yes, if you watch my previous video, I did just it to that as well. So this is my handle boss. From this, this place is the shoulder line. This place is our bust line. And this is going to be my bust point. BP, bust point. This is my under boss. And this is the uh, front leg or your waist line. So I want to work on this line. This is my under bust. So whatever your under bust is, you're going to divide it into four. So dividing my own under bust, which is 32 into four, is going to give me eight inches. And this is where my eight inches is. So I have my eight inches, you know, and I have some extra here. So this is the one. This extra is what we're going to use to contour this under bust to get around the bus contouring so i have about 1.5 inches here and you know we have taken away some space here so just watch what i'm going to do closely from this last line here just come in by half inch measure half inch do you get it now and from that half inch you are going to measure what you have left here as the extra so i have 1.5 and i'm going to measure it here do you get it now? So like this, I have taken away this extra from my underbust and I'm going to shape it out. So this point now, I'm going to connect it back to my bust point using my curve. Can you see the way I am placing my curve? This placement is very, very important to get the shape of your bust. Do you get it now? So this is what I have. I am going to shape it out like this. So we are going to turn this ruler like i have just done and shape the other side so make sure you get the correct placement can you see it and i'll just go ahead and shape it out like this so this is how to tighten or contour our underboss so now this space i'm going to bring it down to my waistline like so so and you have this so we are done with this down part it's as simple as this now we are going to work on this upper part to get our plugging neckline very simple now looking at that picture you see that the yoke actually started from somewhere around the mid arm oh yeah so i'm going to start the shape here yeah? so this is the first thing you're going to determine from where the yoke is starting from now and the next thing you're going to determine is to determine how wide you want it to be on the bust line if you look at the picture you could see that that is a very very wide one it's very wide but i don't want mine to be as wide as that so i'll just open up this space by 1.5 meaning by the time i open it up you know by the time this is on fold by the time you want to transfer it to our fabric it's going to be on fold so that means this 1.5 is going to give me three inches but if you want yours to be as wide as the one in that picture you could use between 2.5 2 to 2.5 do you get it but 1.5 is just okay for me and that is what i'm going to use so i'm going to connect using my curve as well you need to get this shape correctly so that it will not give you problem by the time you want to join it so this is what i am doing now i'll try and connect like this can you see it it's very simple and easy 
so and you're going to bring it down all the way it depends some at times some people can stop on the bus point some under the bus but from the picture i have i'll be bringing it all the way down to the waist can you see it now this space here i'll just open it up a bit i will not make it that wide so i'm going to open it up like let's say 0 0.25 do you get it now and i'll just connect like this so the reason why we have it like this is because of the flounce you know we're still going to attach flounce to this so this glass is very very detailed so i will connect like this can you see it now this is what we have for your plunging neckline so this is me trying to just like blend this part up to have a correct shape do you get it now now you don't want to leave your yoke the upper part like this to avoid gaping so i'm going to extend my dart line to the yoke area so that we can tighten up that place so this is me trying to just extend my line like so can you see it? now i'm going to tighten up this part by 0 0.5 on both sides i'm going to use 0 0.5 here and i'll just use 0 0.5 here as well so go ahead and bring it down to your boss points back so that everything can align so i have it like this can you get it so and i have it like this so this is what your pattern should look like so don't forget to draw out this triangular shape I always insist you draw it out because by the time you want to cut this part so that it will not gape. So we have it like so and I'll just go ahead and cut out my pattern. So this is what your pattern should look like after cutting can you see it so you have this as your complete front pattern now the next thing we're going to do now is i'll be showing you how to transfer it to the fabric so these are the material i'll be using i'm going to transfer to the fabric the first part is i'm going to work on the yoke and this is the next i'm using you know the yoke is going to be on fold by the time you want to transfer it to the fabric this is me trying to fold my net into two like this so that i can get it on fold so you arrange your i've cut out my sleeve there that's why i have it in pieces like this so um, i'll just go ahead and place it like this looking for better space do you get it now this is me trying to arrange so that I will get the correct thing. Now, and I'll just go ahead and add half inch seam allowance all through. I'll just go ahead and add half inch all through. So this is what my yoke looks like after cutting so i have it like this and i'll just put it aside so i'm going to use this part the pieces part here as well to cut my um the other part so this one as well you have it cut separately and i'll just go ahead and add half inch all through as my seam allowance let me cut it out and show you the next thing to do so this is it this is what i have here as well this one is set i'll go ahead and cut this side front now for the side front this part you are going to have more than at least you should have about one inch seam allowance i'll be having two inches anyway so you have any amount you prefer but other i'm going to have half inch or two so this is what you will have i've gone ahead to cut my i use the fabric to cut the lining and i've even gone ahead to 
full smile interfacing on the main fabric so if you like you can as well do that you can add interfacing to your lining but for this tutorial purpose this is what i'll be using i have my lining pieces like so and the two sides so for the uh pad i've cut out the pad as well now this is it this one will be going to this side can you see it you don't really have to make it full wording like that so this is what we have for these two sides like this and this one we now for this side this one that we go to the uh the neckline you are going to leave half inch do you get it now this is it this is a setting can you see it so this part you know this part is the part you're going to join to the uh to the neckline so you need to leave half inch so that that place will not be too thick do you get it now so i've cut all my pattern pieces so in my next tutorial i'm going to show you how to cut the flounce and how to couple these pieces together so if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly do so and do well to turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified when i upload the part two of this tutorial so I'll see you in the next class. Bye.